a woman who needs no introduction. Her power in the world of soap operas is legendary. She's been called daytime's leading lady for her 41-year role as the iconic Erica Kane on All My Children. Now, Susan Lucci is using that power to help other women after the shocking news that she survived two serious heart scares and after the passing of her longtime love and husband last year. Susan is finding the power to continue and celebrate his memory while helping others. Please welcome my friend, the legend, Susan Lucci! <laughs> Madame, madame, <laughs> you come out in a mini dress and platform <laughs> heels. Um, is, I mean, is this this belated birthday energy? You just celebrated a birthday in December. In Christmas, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. you're in Zurich. Uh, uh, Zurich in September. Oh, Zurich in September. In September Look at yeah. you on your birthday, glowing. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> It, I was I was looking at social media. It looked like a dream birthday and a dream trip to Zurich in oh, September. Oh, uh, Zurich was September, and then uh, Christmas was yeah. my birthday. Oh, yeah, that's my that's I. Put yeah, that I follow you on IG. I'm, I'm always you, in your business. Oh, Cameron, <laughs> I need to follow you back. <laughs> oh, this is where we stayed at the beautiful hotel. Yeah, oh. the bar locked. It was gorgeous. Right. Was it was that trip in September a dream trip? You were with family and friends. And yeah, I went to visit. Um, uh, my my stepchildren actually Helmut's children from his first marriage and their children and uh, we just had the best time. I've always loved them and um, our our, our daughter-in-law is half Italian. Like I, I love am, the, I love the hair color. Well, you know, <laughs> I love this hair color. Thank on you. Me. Well, I, I just had to do highlights after we were all in lockdown. I thought, oh, you know, I'm sick of looking at myself like this. I <laughs> need to do a little something, something. So. <laughs> That's what I did, but with the sun on it, it looked like I turned blonde. I know, because I looked and I said, did Susan go blonde? No, but I did want highlights, but it looks gorgeous. Okay, thank you. What is this business of you playing pickleball? They're calling you like the, you're the queen of soap operas, and now you're the queen of the court in pickleball. Oh, hardly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Taryn, no, I, I, I want to go back to playing pickleball, but oh. I've had two lessons. I was so excited, I posted it because I, I really planned to keep on playing, keep on playing, but then I got really busy and didn't have a chance to go back. But very soon, I'm going back. So you're, you're like, so you're wanting to be the Michael Jordan of pickleball? Is that the goal? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I had two lessons, I'm serious. Um, I know that uh, this month, you, like so many great women, are using your story to help other women with heart health, and, and like so many, I was struck by um, the news when you first revealed the heart, your heart is great. It was something very, very specific that had gone wrong. Yes, and like most women, I ignored the symptoms the first two times. I had a slight pressure on my chest, it was radiating around my rib cage, and like most of us, I thought, oh, it'll go away, oh, it's nothing. Yeah. And actually, it did the first, I got so lucky, because the third time, I couldn't ignore it, and I had to do something about it. And I just had such great luck. I, I was- You had 80% blockage? 90. Nine. Oh, my 90% blockage in my main artery. Um, I was out get, at a boutique getting a birthday present for a girlfriend, and uh, as the, the woman moved away to wrap the gift, I had this, like an elephant pressing on my chest. That time, I could not ignore it. I was so lucky to have a third chance. Wow. So I couldn't ignore it. I sat down on a bench. The manager came over and uh, asked me how I was. I told her what I was feeling. And she very calmly said, Susan, my car's right outside. I can drive you to St. Francis Hospital oh, wow. just one mile down the road. And I said, OK. She said, I'll drive you faster than an ambulance will get here. And she was right, because we were right there <laughs> at the hospital. Anyway, we went there. Um, it was my husband's cardiologist. I never had a heart. I never had any health issues. I had no reason to have 
a, a, a doctor like this, but he's he's all that. His reputation, Dr. Schlafmitz, he does answer his phone. You know the doctor's great when you mention him by name. Oh, I, wa <laughs> he, I want to give him all the credit. Yes, I love it. Anyway, so he said, come, I'll meet you with the yeah. ER because you're your uh, symptoms are substantial. You know, I was also afraid, oh, I can't bother this wonderful cardiologist. He has patients who really need him. You know, this is another thing. We women, we don't want to bother the doctor. Right. And um, anyway, it, he tested me. It turned out I had a 90% blockage in my main artery, 75% blockage in the one next to it. Oh. And, um, but I didn't get it. Uh, he said, I, I can fix this. I'll put a couple stents in. And um, by that time, it was sort of nighttime and about nine o'clock at night. And I said, well, um, shouldn't I come back at 6.30 in the morning and, and your A-team will be here all fresh and ready to go? He said, my A-team is on their way in. And I said, oh, oh, okay. And so we went up to the operating room and he had a, a heart uh, surgeon there as well, standing by just in case they found something else, but they didn't, thank heavens. Okay. Um, anyway, so he fixed it and... Wow. Um, Good and so go. now you, I see your beautiful necklace, and I have yes. mine upstairs. You have your jewelry line called Empower Your Heart. Yes. And that's what you're wearing now. This is so Yes, beautiful. I am. Yes, it comes in um, sterling silver and, and 14 karat gold, and I'm wearing the the um, the diamond and the, yeah. and the 14 karat gold. Beautiful. I love it. Thank I you. love it. Yeah. Um, I wanted to... I wanted to be able to pass on my good luck. Yeah. I couldn't pass on the specifics of my particular guardian angels and that the manager of that store happened also to have a degree in nursing. Oh. Mm. You know. So on the, in the car the next day when I was leaving, the, just before I got in the car, the nurses said to me, you know, if you hadn't come, you would have had the widow maker. Oh. There is no question. 99% you would have died in the night. You would not have gotten up. I had no idea how serious it was. Certainly, I was thrilled that I had acted on it. So I, in the car ride on the way home, I called my publicist and I said, Jessica, I cannot keep this good luck to myself. I cannot. I feel like a magnet is pulling me. I have to share the takeaways. Hmm. Not the specifics, obviously, but the takeaways. takeaways which is what's you know, important, right? Which People is important. And that's, that's the message you are sharing with women, as you said. Don't ignore your body. Exactly. You know, also, we fall for this, I'm inconveniencing other people. If you hear something, feel something, go in to your doctor. Take action. Take Empower action. your heart. Empower your heart. Exactly. And yeah. very importantly for women, put yourself on your to-do list. Yes. Well, that's what we, we said. <laughs> Our year of 2023 is 2020 me. And that's what we coined this year. Um, We've known each other a long time. We did investigation discovery. Yes. Um, one of the moments I shared with the audience before the show is going into a party and there you were with your husband, Helmut, and you greeted me with such love and warmth and he was so sweet. Um, and I was thinking, I'm, oh, I'm here the with the most amazing couple ever. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you talked about when you had your, your health scare that you needed to share with the public so to help others. Um, you also shared with us this loss mm -hmm. of love. I don't like calling it the loss. It's, um, yeah, none of the words. None of the words, mm -mm. none of the words. Um, you're married 52 years. Yes. Um, what do you want others who are experiencing this, and a lot of people are, uh, what do you want them to know? As you are still going through this and one yeah. day is different than the next. And everyone's grief is different. Um, and it's only been 10 months, you know? Wow. So I feel like I, I am still seeking um, advice and... Um, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I, if, if, he had, if he had been a bad guy, it'd be a lot easier. <laughs> but um, I just miss him every day and there are no words, you know? I'm sorry, I can't. No, that's okay. No, well, thank you. And we're gonna go to commercial break and when we come back, Part of moving forward in life is finding your empowerment, right? Well, Susan, as we mentioned, she's been playing pickleball and <laughs> celebrating her birthday and spending time with friends. And since we are friends, my friend Susan Lucci is going to teach me how to play this recreation <laughs> of pickleball. Both of us have on stilettos. One of us has on a mini dress. This is gonna be good TV after the break. <laughs> you like pickleball clearly this is it so is it like tennis it's a little bit like tennis i mean this, this serving is a little different but yeah. you know but 
the opposite ends of the, so on the bias. Like this. Okay, so while I'm pretending to really want to play this, I got to get scoop here. Well, okay, so I Kelly thought... Ripa is working on, we're told, a reboot of All My Children. Um, that's what we've been told. Um, <laughs> come closer. Look at this camera. Okay, what would Erica Kane be doing right now if this reboot happens? She'd be playing pickleball in stilettos. <laughs> Do you understand? I, I woke up this morning, the very first tweet was someone begging me to ask you if Erica Kane can make this return. Oh. Your game. Well, if it's Kelly, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I heard that. I mean, what yeah. I was just That's what we're hearing. Okay. Because you have to be in the right hands. Uh, it has to be, to be in hands. the right hands because we, w we want to see it done right. I, I, I can't wait. I know the, Kelly Your, your necklace is so beautiful. We talked oh, about thank it. You. And one of the things that you were so gracious in doing today, mm. we're actually giving someone in the audience <laughs> one of these beautiful necklaces. I'm going to let you hit the ball. They're going to bring out, where, where's the little gift? I'm, I'm, oh, that, that, so let me get one serve in here. Okay, how do you, okay. I go this way and then what? You go that way. Okay. Oh, but you know what? I just know that because there's markings on the court. So basically, we both need to go to class again. I can't wait to go back. I really <laughs> loved it. Okay, this is, is a, let me see a your dink, serve. I think. It can't okay. go in the right, this little box. Okay, let's go see back over got. there. Serve it up. Serve it up. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You hit it right. I was never going to try to get that. I played tennis with Mayor Dinkins. Okay, I was going to say your swing. And a Dolce & Gabbana cocktail dress. So. Susan's swing is too vicious, but you did hit it over into this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hit it back once they're telling me. But I mean, you, you, know, I you just wanted stand to get to the tennis stand. stand like a, this, like, okay. You know, ready for anything. I, I'm ready, ready. Oh, but the only thing is, okay. okay. But okay. I don't remember much. I don't remember anything because it's I, just a little okay. different. Oh, see? Yay! Okay, all right, okay, all right. Let me, all right, let me do the bowl here. One lucky member of the Tam fam, and of the Susan Lucci. Fan club, I will let you do this. Oh, I thought you were gonna do it. Oh, I can pull it yeah, out. You want me to? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Whatever you say. All right. It's, your well, show. it's you. You're Susan Lucci. This is your beautiful jewelry line dedicated. Uh, to yeah. Women empower your heart exactly. pendants are stunning, and one person in our audience will be going home with one. Go ahead, Miss okay. Lucci. So this raises funding for Research for American Heart Association. And it's meant to remind women, you know, you're putting your lipstick on, you see your necklace, yeah. you say, oh, that's right, okay. I need to pay attention. All right, pay you attention. pick the name. I'll read the name. You oh. pull the name. Oh, okay. is this just one? It, oh, it's a number. Seat number 30. Seat number 30! Oh! Oh, yes! <laughs> Seat number 30! Congratulations! Thank you, Susan. Thank I adore you, you so Thank much. You. Thank Back you. Back at you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.